I don't know if I've ever been in a place like this before. This is out of a movie. This is unreal. Look at that brook trout. Oh my god. So I just started. It's right after 6.45 a.m., 100 yards from where I parked, if that. And it is absolutely gorgeous out here. I mean, this... <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been in a place like this before. This is out of a movie. This is unreal. I have about eight miles to go, which is a lot for a day trip. Mind you, that's one way. And that's just to the first spot. I'm gonna go ahead and get to walking fast because I don't want to waste any more time, but the views here are spectacular. I'm. I'm gonna have to make a backpacking trip out of this and fly fish these lakes and the creeks around here for an entire weekend, you know? I mean, does it get any prettier than this? Does it get any prettier than this? Oh my God. Still got quite a few miles to go before I get to where I'm going. Gonna keep on trekking. So I was planning to go to a series of lakes, right? Turns out there's one more lake over here, a, a much more popular lake and a bigger lake over here, which I'm not a fan of. I wanna to go to the smaller lakes to get le less pressure, but nonetheless, I am heading to the big lake, um, not by choice. I must have missed a turn. Um, I've just stayed on the trail. Uh, you know, I haven't taken any off, but I'm actually separated by a creek right now from the direction I need to go. There's no point, there's no spots to cross. It's all white water right now. It could also be that the spot I'm supposed to cross at, where I was planning to, to cross at, is just flooded right now. And that's also a possibility. So nothing I could do about that. Quick change of plans, but nonetheless, we're going to a body of water and there's gonna be fish no matter what. So we're gonna go make the best of whatever this place throws at us. I'm gonna keep going. All right, so here's the spot I need to cross, right here. Hopefully without getting soaking wet. But when I was stepping on this log to test it, I look in the water in this pool, and right in this pool, there is a trout. And it's about an eight to 10 inch fish. And it looks too dark to be a cutty. I think it's a brook trout. Oh, and it just turned towards me. Right in this pool, there's a, a beautiful brook trout. It is a brookie, I can see, I just saw the red and the white on its fins. I might set up right, oh, it's so hard to walk away from a fish. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna set up a two weight, go for this fish real quick and then get back on the trail. I can't help myself. This rod is an absolute noodle. It's a toothpick, complete toothpick. So I already know this fish is gonna take me for one heck of a ride right now. And I'm gonna love every second of it. If you're gonna fish dry fly, my go-to dry fly, is an ant. They just work. And yes, I'm wearing jeans with sandals. But I have a small ant tied on and he, he just turned towards me. I don't want to spook him. So I'm going to move when he's not swimming towards me and facing me. And there's going to be fish all over this creek, you know. This is just one I see and he's pretty and he's pretty big. For, a, for this small hole, he's a pretty decent sized fish. As far as I know, I, you know, I've never fished here before, but as far as I know, that's a nice fish. Anywhere. Oh, he's going for it, he's going for it, going for it. First cast, first cast, got him. First cast, it is a brookie. First cast, first cast. He's taking me in the trees. I guess the heavier tip it's gonna, is gonna pay off since he's wrapping me in these in these trees. There we go, got him off. Right, that's a real nice fish, and I can guarantee I just scared a, a couple other going for this fish. Look at the bend in this two weight. Look, look at that. He just bent it in half, like towards the handle. I'm telling you, if you guys ever go for sm small brookies and cutthroats like this, fish small streams, you cannot pass up getting yourself a small weight fly rod like this oh my god he is beautiful he is absolutely beautiful look at the orange on his belly 
Mother Nature is amazing. Water's so clear. That is a fish and it's a bigger one. Way bigger than these fish. And he's going towards it, he's going towards it. Oh, a little fish went towards it first. Hopefully he takes it instead. He's going for it, he's going for it. Oh, he rejected it. He rejected it. Come on, baby, come back. Please come back. I got rejected so hard right there. I'm gonna keep moving because this isn't the final destination yet. And I'm just trying to cover some water. If I see a nice fish that's you know worth stopping for, then I'll go ahead and, and stop and, and go for it. I'm pretty excited to get there, see what the lake looks like, get a, get a feel for the layout, look for some fish, take a, a good breather and feel the relief of knowing that I actually made it finally. Oh my, I want to go right now. I'm so ready to be there and take my bag off. I'm, I'm doing a speed walk. This is unreal. <laughs> Just look at the water clarity. Oh. This is a real place. This is what we've come all this way for. All right, so I just got set up. I have a, a peach colored scud as an attractor. And then I have a size 14 or 16, I'm not exactly sure, 14 or 16 RS2. Um, the RS2 is what I'm really banking on, catching these fish with, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Got him. I saw him move and I didn't know if it was for my flies or not because I don't have I have no clue where my flies are at. It is a brookie. It's a nice one too. On the RS2. Uh, that's two fish that ignored the scud for the RS2. Ooh. Maybe I'll double up on the RS2. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh my no, no. This is just a brookie. What wild brookie or something else, man. They are something else. Oh my gosh. This is this is what makes the two weight so freaking cool. Look at my rod right now. Look at that, he has it bent in half. Mind you, this is just a little brookie, a little wild brookie. Yeah, I think I'm gonna double up on the RS2s because that's two of them that have ignored the, the attractor fly. Man, this guy bolted. This is a beautiful brook trout, man. Oh my, this might be the biggest brookie I've ever caught. You know, I haven't caught very big brookies before. Ever, really. This, one, this might be a new, I think this is a new PB for me. I do want to show you guys the size of this brook trout. That's the biggest brookie I've ever caught. The healthiest and the girthiest without a doubt. That's, oh my god, the jaw, the head on him. Those black lips, man. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. I got him. Yep. I saw his, his head turn sideways. Got him. All it took was the right placement. Is that... A cutty or is that just a really pretty rainbow? Oh, it might just be a rainbow. Oh, I see the, the red cheek on him. I think it's just a rainbow. Oh. He is really colored up though. Look at him. Yeah, this is one of the most beautiful rainbow I've ever caught. I could see how I mistook it for a cut, is this a cutthroat? Dude, I, uh, I'm saying rainbow right now, just really colored up with that, that peach color to, oh my god, look at those colors. 
Look at the size of this fish. Oh my god, look at the size of the fish. Look at the color on that fish. And the and the kipe on him. Oh that fish is beautiful. I'll let her go. Let her swim off, get back to the thing. Heck yeah. Oh man. You know, when you're in a place like this, just seeing a fish can make the entire trip worth it. The scenery, the, the experience in general, priceless. You can't buy this anywhere. Right now, I just, just crossed the inlet, the inlet creek, and uh, it's shallower on this side, it looks like, at least for a little bit of ways out. Got him that time. On the RS2. That's the biggest one of the day so far. Biggest rookie of the day so far. Yeah. This is definitely the biggest rookie of the day so far. Without a doubt. And I've been working for him. I don't even know how long. Look at how healthy that guy is. Beautiful. Look at the head on him. That's a mature brook trout right there. What a beauty. That clear water. There's one. There's one. Got him. Yep. First fish on the indicator. Fighting too. <laughs> I wonder which fly he ate. Don't jump. I do not want you to jump. Let's see what is it? Really? Oh, it's a brookie. There we go. Nice brookie right there. And he's off. Alright, well, I hope the water noise isn't too bad. There's a waterfall nearby. But I'm going to start heading back down. I will fish some more. This this is not over yet. Um, it's, it's after 3, I think it's 3.30. And I'm at 13.1 miles for the day. I'm about to head back. So it's going to be well over a 20 mile day today. In a single day. And I'm not in shape for this. I will definitely be paying for this tomorrow without a doubt. But I got some awesome footage, some awesome pictures. I caught a new PB brook trout today, twice as far as I knew. I thought I broke it earlier. And then that last fish, without a doubt, is the biggest brookie I've ever caught. I've never caught one that wide with that big of a head on it. And I know they get bigger. I know for a fact they get bigger than that. And uh, you know, if I do more exploring like this, I'm sure I'll come across a few more. Oh, oh, they're going for it. Got him. Yep, got him. Oh, it's a nice little brookie. Real pretty brookie too. Look at that guy, the orange on him. Got to keep pressure on him so the barbless hook doesn't pop out. I'm going to go ahead and wet my hand real quick. Oh yeah, look at that brook trout. Wet both hands. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Partless hook came right out. Look at the color on that guy. That's outrageous. Oh my, and the pattern on his fin and his back. That's crazy, dude. 
Oh god dang. <laughs> he was mad. <laughs> he did not like me, Jesus. There she is. There's a deep hole right here. There's that's a bigger one. That one's bigger. That one's bigger. That's a bigger one. There's the bigger one I was looking for. That's the bigger one I was looking for. Yeah, that's the biggest one here. Out of all these fish running around, that's the biggest one here. Is it a brook trout or is it a rainbow? It's a brookie, huh? Let's get the net out for this guy. Yeah, here's the one I was looking for this whole time. Let's bring him over. That might be like the same size as the ones I caught in the lake, dude. So this one's out of the creek. Makes it 20 times better. Oh, the colors on him. He looks silver down there in the blue water. This might be the biggest one of the day. This might be another PB, but in the creek. No way. This might be another PB, but in the creek, dude. Not even joking. He's bigger than I thought. Doesn't look as big down deep. Got to keep constant pressure on him, even with those head shakes, because he's on the barbless mini leech that I absolutely hate when it comes to keeping fish pinned because it, it it's barbless, but it's like ultra barbless. I don't know. Oh my God, this is a nice brook trout, dude. This might be the biggest one of the day. Not Not the nicest brook trout because of color, but on size. Dude, I keep saying dude a lot, and that's how you know it's real, that I'm freaking out. I need to bring him all up, more line, so I can reach him. This this might be my PB. If it's, if it's bigger than the one earlier, this is a new PB. Got him. This is a new PB, dude. Lengthwise, for sure. I'm gonna actually get a length on him. I have this mini tape measure right here. Inches. You see there's like two, two or three inches of blankness and then it starts right there, one inch. See her right at the tip, coming up. She's 16 inches. Maybe even longer because I'm not even following her curve. Look at that right there, 16 inches. Her tail comes up on the rim of the, of the, of the net right there, bent. Straight, she's over 16, she's probably 16 and a quarter. 16 inch brook trout. That's my PB without a doubt. All right, so I brought you guys over here so I could show her off a little bit better. Get her in some clean water as well. This is my new PB brook trout, dude, without a doubt. 16 inches. Look at that brook trout. Look at that brook trout. Oh my God. That's my new PB, without a doubt. 16 inch brook trout. <laughs> this is worth the, I think I'm at 15 miles right now and I'm, I'm still eight miles away from, from the car. <laughs> this is worth it. New PB, I, I don't even know what else to say. I'm gonna let her go. Just look at this fish right here. That's what I came here for. Even though I didn't catch any cutthroat today, I don't even know if they, they're in any of these bodies of water. I just caught a PB for the third time today, and I don't know if I'll beat that one for quite a while. 16 inch brook trout. You won't find those in very many places except places where you have to hike in like crazy like this spot. That is amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save so many pictures of that fish, and if you follow me on Instagram, at jerkbait underscore pro, you're gonna get spammed with that fish. I'm sorry, but I, I got to. That's my new PB without a doubt. And that, that's a trophy brook, brook, blah, 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 brook trout in my books. That's insane, but it's worth it when you come across fish like that. That's, that might be a once in a lifetime fish for this area. I mean, look how small this creek is. Little tiny creek, little tiny creek, clear water. 
that's a pretty big bar to beat after after this i don't even i can't talk i'm speechless today's been freaking awesome all right so after breaking off on that last fish or on the on the weeds after the fish i decided just to pack up the fly rod because there's about that much space between the sun and the peak i probably have about 45 minutes to an hour before the sun's behind the peak and then obviously there's still light after that but i have eight miles to go so <laughs> I need to start gunning it. I can't waste any more time fishing. As bad as I want to, especially with this spot right here, it's driving me crazy. There's fish rising, but I gotta go. I gotta get out. I'll make sure to come back again. If you guys like today's video, let me know so I can make sure to come back as soon as possible. Make more videos like this. You know, if, if you have a spot that you wanna go, go fish together like this, let me know. I'll be there, man. I don't care how far of a hike it is, you know. I am at 15.76 miles right now and I have eight more to go a lot of that's just from me walking and fishing so I have eight miles I know for a fact at least eight miles minimum to get back to my car so I am in for a ride talk about hiking a one day fishing hiking trip I'm gonna break what uh, 23 miles today gee but I'm gonna probably gonna be pushing 24 miles wow that's insane that is insane what I do to go catch these fish. If you guys appreciate it, I know I appreciate all of you guys' support, but if you appreciate 24 miles for fish like this, for a video like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, join me on these adventures. I'm taking you guys all over the place, all different types of fishing, fly fishing, spin fishing, bait casting, going for warm water species, cold water species, creek fishing, high alpine fishing, bass ponds, you name it, I'm, I'm doing it. I, I love to catch fish. I'd love to take you guys along with me. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video down in the comments. Thank you guys.